Welcome back to the channel guys. It's a beautiful morning and we're back at the boat. Not been here for around six or seven weeks. So let's hop aboard and see how she looks. Okay, well all looks okay. Um, we've got a couple of buckets where we've got a couple of leaks. And that one looks pretty dry. It looks like we have got a little bit in that one. We know we've got a bit of a leak uh, up here, which we're, we're going to address probably one of the next jobs to do. Uh, but everywhere else, looks pretty much as we left it. So I think the plan is for today is to get this side all cleaned up, um, get the partition back in the centre here, uh, put some plasticine uh, along the corners, the same as we did before, and get it all waxed up. So, let's make a start. Okay, so we've applied the central partition. We've installed that central partition. It's been glued from the back with hot glue. So we'll be able to remove that afterwards. And then the green plasticine is in the corners uh, to give us a nice radius. And we've done that all the way along here. And then we've also applied plasticine across the top there. And then we've also used tuck tape um, just across the top because that got a little bit rough. This uh, tool's been stood for a couple of months. And um, so this had started to peel a little bit just here. So we don't need to mold up that far anyway, but that will just hold everything in place. And when we come to break the mold away from the tool, uh, this tuck tape and um, the gel won't stick to this. So it'll break away quite easily. So that will work out absolutely fine. So all we need to do now is um, we've given it a quick polish. Um, so been over it with some rubbing compound. Um, because it has been stood for a while it got a bit of dirt on it and stuff so giving it enough another quick compound and then next we need to apply eight coats of wax so we'll get on with that
Okay guys, so we've managed to get this all polished up. So I'll show you this, so this is a nice finish on here. So this has had eight layers uh, of wax. So really happy with that. So now we're gonna come in with two layers uh, of gel coat this evening, and then we're gonna leave it overnight, and then we'll pop back um, in the morning, and we'll hopefully get it all laminated up tomorrow with five or six layers of chop strand and Optimold. So let's get the gel on. Okay, first coat on. So we're gonna leave that to set up and then we'll come in and apply another coat. Maybe tonight, if not, we'll do it first thing in the morning. We'll see how well it sets up. Okay, so it's the next morning. Richard's come in and laid up another layer of gel coat and that's tacky now. So that's been, uh, came in about six o'clock this morning. So that's been on for a couple of hours. We've got the Neo Mold decanted ready to go. So we just need to mix in the activator and the cabin has been preheated to nearly 25 degrees so we're nice and warm so let's get laminating Right, so first layer on, first layer on. of the new Neo, Neo mold. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? We liked it, didn't we? We like the Neo mold. Yeah. It just doesn't seem to cottage cheese as quickly as uh, Optimold did. No. And actually we had 2% catalyst and warmer in there, so I thought it was going to go a lot quicker than But it's now gone, but it's, it seems to miss out the cream cheese stage. Yeah, and just and go straight into the, Going yeah. off, setting yeah, going off. off. It gets a little bit stringy and then it goes. Yeah. So, uh, a lot less pressure. Get That's more that. working time, don't you? Yeah, definitely. It was nice, wasn't it? it was nice. So we've decanted yeah. some more Neo mold. What's that for? Four kilos? So we reckon it's four kilos per layer, don't we, of laminate now? So, uh, cool. We'll take this up in the boat and get it oh. on.
Okay, so that's it. Five layers of chop strand with the Neo mould. And we, we found that quite good, didn't we? Quite like that. I like that Neo yeah, mould. Oh, yeah. Dear. Taken us all day, but it's turned out turned out really nice. So we'll leave that to post cure for a couple of weeks. And um, keep the heat on in here, won't we? Keep it around 20, 25 at least, I would say. One of the better tonight, and yeah. then I'll let it go after that, I think. And, it uh, needs a week, it won't shrink after a week. No, no. Not in this temperature, I don't think. It's designed not to shrink, isn't it? So we'll leave it for a couple of weeks and then we'll pop that out. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of any future videos. And we'll be back soon with another video on our project boat. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.